Otherwise, this is an extended tutorial for uh, the manifold surfaces. I'm going to show you how to create manifold surfaces once again and how we can uh, create multi-body parts from uh, one single part and how we can establish a parent and child relationship between uh, between different files. So if I were to create a rectangle on the top plane and I want to create another parallel plane so I'm going to hold down control and create there we go we have a parallel plane at this level I'm going to confirm and I'm going to draw another surface or a sketch on that on that plane which is going to be just like in a previous uh, lesson similar sort of rectangle I'm going to use planar surface for both of these rectangles to be turned into surfaces. Now we can see them clearly. We can use functions like freeform. We can actually freeform these these surfaces like as discussed earlier. Oh, that's pretty much. Let us see. I want to flex that like so. Confirm that. That is some good-looking surface. I'm going to actually hide the right plane. We don't want to see that. Front plane will uh, will send that away for the time being. We'll come back to that. I'm going to try and freeform this explain now exactly same parameter so I'm going to apply a symmetry along one of these axes I'm going to see if I can flex this surface like so not too much So if that is the top and the bottom surface of a let's say any con consumer product, <coughs> how will all that is left for us to do is uh, design the sides to enclose that uh, those two surfaces in. So if I were to hold down Control and create a parallel plane, parallel to top plane, there we have it. And on the surface, I'm going to create. using a center point slot surface I'm going to start the surface from the lower surface as we can see and I want it to go up to the this face here I'm going to confirm that and as you can see in the surfaces folder here we have three three entities let us see if we can go ahead and delete what's not needed so I'm going to go to use trim surface using mutual trim and I'm going to remove this extra bit of surface there that gives us that that is a manifold body now using these surfaces basically we can um, if we have a look over here we have three surfaces and we can select them separately if I were to apply a fillet or anything at this level that is going to merge all of these surfaces together I don't think I want to do that yet uh, we can save this as a master's file and uh, we are in a state to right click on these surfaces and insert uh, that particular surface into a new part so let's just say I want to experiment with these so I'm going to create a a new file, a new part file from that top surface. Insert that into a new part. Let's call this new file
as you can see there is a link between in the feature manager tree we can see that is a stock part came from parent one if I were to make any changes if I were to go back in the parent file change the free forms it's actually this one I'm going to flex that like make it so well so that it is the change is obvious so I'm going to flex it like this save that I'm going to go back to the charge file and we can see this surface has updated at this level we can apply uh, we can make it a thick surface we can apply um, webs vents uh, what are features we need to work on so we can work on details in this part at this level we don't have to work we don't have to create all of these details in one part file so this this is actually a very good practice so I'm going to go ahead and make this apply some fillets and make this into a solid using fillet function we can use face fillet from this face to the top surface there and I'm going to try and see if I can get a, a constant width fillet I'm going to confirm that exactly the same operations for for underside it's not giving me a preview so I'm going to toggle the direction it's working now constant width fillet again and there we have it we have a couple of uh, well we have one surface body now which is this one since we applied the fillets all of them surfaces are knitted together so we don't have to knit surface manually I'm gonna go ahead and thicken these and create a solid out of enclosed volume if I take that option that is going to create a solid out of those enclosed surfaces those bunch of surfaces basically so if I were to take a look inside it is in fact a solid it is not surface anymore I'm gonna go ahead shell it out so features shell and I'm, I want to apply a shell thickness of three millimeters green tick to confirm and since I did not make any selection that means it, it will shell the entire body uh, if I can take you back into shell when this field is active you can uh, you can select a face and SOLIDWORKS will leave that face open in this case I wanted to shell uh, this particular part from inside I didn't want to leave any faces open so um, I'm sure we have a shell thickness of three millimeter there Now, it will be a good idea to split this part at this point. So it is one solid body. I'm gonna bring back my front plane and that's where we are going to draw the split line. So using the spline tool, I'm gonna say, well, that is what I am after. I want a split line like that. I'm going to just tweak that ever so slight over here. We just need to make sure that we are not coming back sometimes these dotted lines give us a, an indication so yeah we are we are well clear I'm going to toggle my view to that Green tick to confirm is it sketch right in direct editing I'm going to use split function using the newly created sketch as the split tool I'm going to cut that part and I want to split the lower half So we have a two solid bodies now, top and bottom. Just as earlier, we can right click, insert them into a new part and we can start working on the details there. Like so, I'm going to hide. One and have a look at another one. So that can easily be the uh, top part of our object, and this can be the bottom half. Ideal version. This is where you know, if this was a remote, uh, this is where the batteries go. 
and we're gonna try and see if we can apply uh, webs and lip and groove to these so if I can take one of these out before that I think I want to create another split I want to split out a small section at this level something uh, similar to what we see on sky remotes so I'm going to split out a small section of the lower half out for that purpose I need to draw a sketch once again and the sketch is on the top plane I'm going to use a three-point arc I'm just going to make sure this point lies So we have nice and centered split. Exit that sketch and once again in split in direct editing using that sketch I'm going to hit cut part. It should give us four options now. We can split this one out or the top one, this one or this one here. I think I want to split out this part. So I'm going to select that and confirm come out of it. So over here we have three parts. So one on the top the battery cover and this is the the bottom half I want to see if I can create a new part from this so I'm going to save this as a um, master file I'm going to see if I can process this one further. Insert that into a new part. And I want to call this bottom half. As I said, there is a link between the master file and this bottom half. Uh, I can carry on working on this file now. Uh, the changes are one way so any changes you make to this file they will not be propagated back to the master file uh, while as if you were to go back to the master file edit uh, the shell feature there or edit the definition of surfaces or the the actual boundary uh, you the surf the changes will be pro propagated to this file let us see if we can apply um, ribs at this level so I'm going to make my top plane visible And I'm going to create a parallel plane at this level somewhere. We need to make sure that we are not going all the way. We are not going past the boundary wall. So I'm going to uh, create my webs at this level somewhere. Looking at sideways, I don't want to do anything in this space. I'm going to create the ribs in that space there. So that plane will do. If I were to go back in sketch environment, and I just want to draw, I want to see what happens when I draw a horizontal like this. Sorry, a vertical line like this. Another vertical line over here. Right, if I were to go in features, rib, I'm going to select the existing sketch, the grey arrow in the preview, that's prompting us for the direction, sometimes you might want to flip the direction by clicking this icon here, I want the thickness to be three millimeter and I want to apply a draft angle of about four degrees let's see what that gives me it could be an error or it could be a bunch of ribs right we have some ribs
we can go back in the sketch that defines these ribs and we can make sure they are equally spaced properly dimension etc etc if you want we can we can carry on refining this like so you don't even need to go up to the edge SOLIDWORKS will extrapolate that edge it will run the rib feature for you it's quite smart this function so those are my ribs let's try and apply lip and groove to these two parts so uh, I'm going to apply lip or groove to this lower half and uh, I'm going to say you know, the exactly opposite on the other half where it, where it needs to click for that purpose I'm going to go it's not really low lip here we need to go in insert fastening feature lip and groove over here in this space in the feature manager depending on where we are selecting we are actually um, defining the groove in this space here and in this space if I were to highlight that uh, we will be defining the lip so let's just say we want to create a lip on on this part I'm going to select the body this plane it's going to be a reference plane somewhere SOLIDWORKS can relate back to to, to run the cut all the way through so I'm going to uh, select our plane 1 as uh, as a reference plane lip selection it is going to be this surface here this curved surface going all the way through so that surface is selected like so tangent propagation I don't need to use that and the lip edge I'm going to apply the lip on this edge here this space here it is for the parameter so I'm going to select about 1.5 millimeter width and that will create a lip for us at that level as you can see in the preview I'm going to commit to that that gives us a lip with a draft angle of 3 degrees at that point whilst we are here might as well look at um, mounting bosses so if I go into insert fastening features mounting boss we simply select the face where we want to apply the boss if you need to change the direction which I don't in this case and you can change all the parameters from the left hand side here I'm going to go back in or we can use a mirror feature let's see if I can use mirror mirror face it's going to be our front plane features to mirror let's see if we can pick on this mounting box yes we can I guess those two bosses so this is how it works I'm going to save this file at this level and we can carry on working on the on the other parts thanks for watching